What's up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Mouth, coming at y'all to show y'all how I make decorative balls. I guess that's what you would call them. They look like this, something you could put on your table or just put somewhere to get more bling. All you need to make this is some newspaper, good old faithful newspaper, any kind of paper, any kind of clothing item that you can ball up into a circle. I guess that, yeah, if it was clothes or uh, some, some old socks that you can roll up into, you know how you roll up socks, or a, a tennis ball, a baseball, any kind of item that you can find around the house that you can make round. And once you make it round, then you'll see where I'm coming from. So if you're interested in how I made mine, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so I have my newspaper all spread it out and all you need to do here at this point is just simply take the newspaper and crumble it up as tight as you can but with my hands I can't get it that tight so I just crumble it up so much and I'm just showing you how to do it and you just keep crumbling it up kind of like wrapping it into over each other and just keep balling it up but you want to ball it up as tight as you can get it. So I can't do it that tight because my hands hurt. It makes my hands hurt like bad. So um, I just get it around here. And then I take it to Scooby and he tighten it up the rest of the way. So here is what this one would look like if it was tightened up. You see? It, it actually becomes this small because Scooby already tightened it up. So we're going to work with this one. I'm just showing you guys how to, um, how that go. So you just take the paper and crumble it up. You can do the same thing with a pair of socks. With a pair of, with some old clothes you ain't, you ain't wearing them all. You can cut them and then form them into the shape of a ball because they're closed. They're going to take shape and then when you get them close to a ball as you can don't worry about this part like sticking out don't worry about that because uh the aluminum foil is going to hold that in so you get the aluminum foil and you just wrap it on now wrap it around like you're wrapping a christmas gift bring in all the corners and wrap that around too and then you take it to Scooby and have him squeeze it as tight as he can. Okay? <laughs> I mean, you can't take it to Scooby, but you squeeze yours as tight as you can. But that's about as tight as I can get it. But after it's squeezed tight, hold on, let me get the other one. After it's squeezed tight, it's going to look like this one. Okay? And then... Once you get it like this, then you're done. It's going to hold its shape. All you got to do is make it round with your hand. And then what he did is he pressed it against a hard surface and kind of flattened out all those big dents in it. You flatten out the dents when you rub it on something hard. And then that'll take the, the big dents away and make it um, a little more round. Okay, so now I take this ball and just bling it out with whatever bling I want to bling it, I want to pick, you know. So, we got this bling here on this big roll. And I can just get this and just start gluing it on there. It don't matter how you glue it on there. Well, it do matter, but it this here conforms to the shape of the ball. So, it's not really like a big deal. And just cut it. I mean, you probably can spray paint this whatever color you want. And then glue you some bling on there. You can put Mod Podge on here with some glitter. You can put Mod Podge on here with you some rice. And spray paint the rice when you're done. You can put some... Lima beans on it, pinto beans, black eyed peas, uh, as long as they the hard dry ones. Anything that's small that you like to bling, uh, will put on a ball. Uh, you can do that. So, just add your glue. Don't worry about if you got holes in the aluminum foil. Just keep going, okay? 
The glue is very hot. Now don't worry about it not going on perfectly because it won't go on perfect and some of them it some of them gonna actually be glued on top of each other. So you just keep gluing. Just keep gluing. See, you gotta kind of push them into place. And they're gonna fall into place once you get it right. But, um, it just take a little time. And you just keep mashing it down until you get it where you want it. See how that works? You just keep going. Now, you can have some patience if you want to and cut these and glue a couple of them at a time. But I didn't think all of that was necessary because they're going to be sitting on the table and ain't nobody going to be examining these. So just keep gluing and keep rolling. And if anybody is trying to examine your work at your house, then they're doing too much. So keep gluing and keep on going. You can either put the glue on the bling or you can put the glue on the ball. Whichever one's easier for you to do. Okay, you see how I got all of those down? At first, when I did my first ball, I didn't think that all of this was going to match down because, you know, the ball is round. But if you keep mashing it in its direction that it need to go, it will, just like you see seen there, it will um, conform to the shape of the ball. Just like this. And once the ball, um, once the glue dries, the ball is going to be hard. So, these gloves make my hands feel a whole lot better. Even though I'm still limited to the amount of uh, grip I have. I have a hard time opening things like bottles or any kind of canisters i can't just like grip my grip gone since the chemo so anyways but these gloves make a lot of difference and so you just keep going the ball ends up looking like that and you just keep cutting and gluing cutting and gluing I'm going to see if I can cut a little bit more and glue for y'all, so. Just measure what you need. Cut it. And get your little space right there and glue it. Now, these can be glued on top of each other. Like, they can be overlapped and they still are lay down. So, I wouldn't do too much worrying about getting glue on the top piece because you can. Okay, y'all, I don't know what part I stopped at, but my battery died. But you end up with something that looks like this. This is what you end up with. And you can also do it with this. You know, this type of um, material. This might look a little raggedy, but you can overlap this too. But it don't matter because it's blingy. And once you sit it on your table, um, ain't nobody going to know that it look a little messy. But it's cute. And this one I love. I'm going to make two of these. Um, and then I'll several different ones of these kind. So this is how it looks at the end, y'all. Y'all let me know how y'all like it. And that's all I got to say in this video. Y'all stay tuned for the living room tour. Might take me a little while because I'm still decorating. But I will bring y'all DIYs um, as I go if I can. Okay? But that's all I got to say in this video, y'all. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.